Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn about the first of the access layer switch security mechanisms, which is DHCP snooping. And you remember from the DHCP section that we covered before that on our Cisco router, if our clients are not on the same subnet as the DHCP server, we'll need to configure the IP helper address. So that's what we've done in the example here in the diagram. PC1 and PC2 are in the 10.10.10 .10 subnet and their DHCP server is on the other side of the router at 10.10.20.10. I've configured a scope on my DHCP server for the 10.10.10 .10 subnet, giving IP addresses starting at .10, going up to 254, a subnet mask of slash 24, default gateway 10.10.10.1, and a DNS server is also on the DHCP server, which is 10.10.20.1. When the PCs send out a DHCP request, that goes out as broadcast traffic, so it will not be forwarded by the router by default. So on the router, I need to configure the IP helper address command on the interface that those requests come in on, and that forwards the requests to the DHCP server. So we covered all that configuration before, but we can have a problem in our network which is a rogue DHCP server. So you see in our example here that a DHCP server has been connected on the same side of the router as the PCs have. It actually doesn't matter where it was connected in, it would still give us the same problem. And this server has been configured to give out DHCP addresses it's also giving out addresses in the range 10.10.10 .10 with a subnet mask of slash 24, but the default gateway is configured as 10.10.10.254 and the DNS server is 10.10.10.254 as well. So when the PCs send out a DHCP request, they're liable to get the offer from this DHCP server here, which has got an invalid default gateway and DNS server address, so the PCs won't actually have any connectivity to the network. And in the example here, it's going to be quite hard to detect that because we're actually getting an IP address in the correct subnet. It's not going to be immediately obvious what the problem was. So if you do get a rogue DHCP server, that can be, what it can do is drop your PCs off of the network. Now, more often than not, this is not actually going to be a malicious attacker who's doing this deliberately. More likely, it's some end user who takes something maybe from home, like a home router, and plugs it into the network, and it's got a DHCP service running on there. Or it could also be maybe one of your IT staff, and they are running a lab which has got a DHCP server in it, and accidentally they connect it to the real network. So more likely it'll be an accident, but the impact is the same. It's gonna be devastating for those clients. It's gonna drop them off of the network. So there is mitigation that we can take that will prevent rogue DHCP servers from being able to be active on your network. And the solution is DHCP snooping. With DHCP snooping, you enable this on your access layer switches and you configure the parts that your DHCP server is connected to as a trusted part. So you see in the example here, if we configure this on switch two, it would be interface fast zero slash two that is directly connected to the DHCP server that would be configured as a trusted part. From switch one's point of view down at the bottom, the DHCP offers are gonna come in on interface fast zero slash one. So that also needs to be configured as a trusted part. So trusted parts is a part directly connected to the DHCP server and also on your inter switch links leading down to the PCs. When any DHCP server traffic comes in on a trusted port, 
the switch will allow that traffic to go through. But if DHCP server traffic comes in on a port that is not trusted, then the switch will drop it. So here we're trusting all the way through to our valid DHCP server. If somebody plugs in a rogue DHCP server on any other port, then the DHCP offers that it gives out are going to be dropped by the switch. We're not going to get to the client, so we're not going to get that invalid information. The configuration for this, we've done this on switch one. Globally, you say IP DHCP snooping. You also need to enable it at your access VLAN level as well. So we also say IP DHCP snooping VLAN 10, for example, and then configure your trusted ports. So that's interface fast zero slash one on switch one, IP DHCP snooping trust. Okay, so that is why we have DHCP snooping, what it does, also a quick look at the configuration as well. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.